Hello, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jaden Wozni with your top stories from this past week. It wasn't a lot of rain that fell on the White Rock Lake wildfire in the North Okanagan, but firefighters will take any reprieve. Some precipitation was recorded in the North Okanagan Saturday morning, which BC Wildfire Service's fire information officer, Shannon Street, said it did help slow parts of the massive blaze. Cooler temperatures and a chance of rain have been forecast for the region over the next couple of days. As for the Mount Law wildfire burning between Peachland and West Kelowna, crews on the ground continue to suppress flames, with planned ignitions underway beginning Saturday morning on the south end of the Preston and Cary Road in West Kelowna. Planned ignitions will continue throughout the weekend on the Mount Law wildfire, including on the south and north side as weather conditions improve. Residents can expect to see visible flames and smoke as a result of continued suppression efforts. RCMP in Kelowna are investigating after a deceased man's body was discovered at the Parkinson Rec Center sports field early Wednesday evening. Police say they were called to the area around the cricket batting cage after a body was discovered. The deceased is said to be a Kelowna man in his 60s and his identity has not yet been released. The investigation has determined that criminality is not suspected in this incident. New COVID-19 restrictions that were introduced for the BC interior on Friday means that the Music in the Park concert series in Kamloops has come to an abrupt end. Music in the Park is a free nightly concert series at the Rotary Band Shell in Riverside Park and it resumed this week after a summer off due to the pandemic in 2020. The city of Kamloops said in a tweet after the announcement that Friday's show would be the last of the summer. In a joint announcement on Friday between Interior Health and the provincial government, a number of new restrictions were handed down for the IH region, including a mask mandate for indoor public spaces and gathering limits, similar to what the central Okanagan has had for several weeks now. Vernon RCMP have requested the public's help in locating a missing man. 31-year-old Matthew Andrew McGugan was last seen in Vernon on Thursday. He is described as 5 foot 7 inches tall, 143 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is urged to contact their local police. Firefighters in West Kelowna were given a surprise from the community on Thursday. Residents organized to meet at a local church, then drove past the West Kelowna Fire Station 34 on Gates Road in the form of a parade. Screaming, cheering, banging pots and pans could be heard as the locals showed their appreciation for those battling the BC wildfires. That's all for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Jaden Wozni.